Welcome back, Grid 7. No, this is another one of those one things where, no, let's face it, the press double standard when it comes to Republicans and Democrats. No, so awkward. Kamala Harris refuses questions from black business owners. We're all set. Can you imagine if Trump or Pence did this, said that? No, Democratic presidents. Vice President nominee Kamal Harris was mocked on Twitter for abruptly ending a roundtable discussion with black business owners in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, without taking any questions. Now, let, as it said, let this sink in. Harris refused to take questions, even though the audience was friendly, and PBS hosts, who were both black, obviously supported her. Not one of them gushed that Kamala Harris would be the next vice president of the United States. But when the host tried to pass her the mic to the audience questions, Harris simply packed up her papers and walked away. I think we're done here, she quipped. And one of Kamala's staffers said, thank you, we're all set. Now, imagine the same situation Trump. Now, if he's... <clears throat> Now, the uh, reporter hands him the mic, and <clears throat> he goes, I think we're done here. I mean, the, the press would be hounding him, racist and everything else. But, you know, Democrats will get the free pass. Even though on you know, many conservatives and right-wing people and a lot of people you know, called Kamala Harris out on it. You know? uh, I like Greg Gutfield's thing, you know, the polite ways of saying fuck you. Yeah, I'm not sponsoring anything. I can say this shit. You don't like it, whatever. Nothing inspires confidence in a candidate like a staffer saying, thank you, we're all set over questions. Yep. No, sorry, used up our questions with Dana Bass throwing me softball about my college days at Harvard. One Twitter user commented, they have to be throwing the election on purpose. Sometimes I think Democrats are doing this <clears throat> simply to make it. Uh, you know, Trump hate doesn't doesn't mean anything. You know, that's not a policy, and Democrats don't have a policy. I'm sure we've all seen this one. You Another know, little making fun here. Joe Biden with his legion of supporters on Labor Day. Yeah, not exactly. Uh, thing. So no, it's not surprising that Kamala Harris doesn't want to field questions in Wisconsin given the Black Lives Matter riots that have destroyed the town. And no, her praising of Black Lives writers and arsonists as heroes of our time. Yeah, no, they're not heroes. No, th this is what your heroes are doing right here. No, that, that, that's not some third world. That wasn't some natural disaster or you know like in Libya Beirut Libya that large explosion that wasn't some sort of thing like that no these were people who went out of their way to destroy stuff for no other reason because they're being backed by Democrats basically and of course Harris is criticized for her disastrous tenure says California Attorney General no Accusations of corruption and mass incarnations of black men. Yeah, she, I think she has, what, the record or something like that? No. Her experience tells us she wouldn't have any idea what to do because she's basically a left-wing bomb thrower. Yeah. No. She was done basically for the color of her skin and the fact that she's left-wing. That's it. And the Democrats think left-wing people make up the mass majority of people and they don't. And right here, no, Don Jean does have a thing. No, they don't have a plan to fix anything, but the media will pretend there's a plan. I've thrown that question out many times on Twitter, other social media. What are the Democrats standing for? Because what I can find, higher taxes, no security, Less border. I mean, after the virus, now you would think the border security might be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more important instead of letting everybody come over without being checked. But uh, now they're not for that. No. 
and look at California. No, this, he said, no, it doesn't want California's my America. It's a disaster. It is. I mean, just look at San Francisco. It doesn't appear to be the best place to be anymore. A lot of people I've read that have once lived there, gone back, and they've been like, this isn't the city I left. This isn't the, the great city that it was. Part of Biden's platform is eliminating single-family zoning in the suburbs of America. To me, that, that would be actually be the wrong way to go. It seems like the more we destroy our cities and all that type of stuff, the worse we're getting. And just a few more tweets here. Are the windmills and solar powers working out? Not working out? Oh, oh yeah, the, the mayor of L.A. No, almost 3 a.m. Time turn off major appliances. Set the thermostat to 78 degrees. Turn off excess lights. I mean, personally, I'm asleep at 3 a.m. 3, I don't know, 3 p.m. I thought that was 3 a.m. Yeah. Well, my thought is, no, if Pence did this to a group of black uh, business owners, it would have been major news. They would have roasted him and all this other type of stuff, but because it's Kamala Harris, it's okay. They will give her a pass, and they won't care because their hatred is really that 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 great. That's what we're up against: pure, unfiltered hatred. And it, it, it's time to it's time to put it out in the light and tell it say it say it like it is. Yep. that's my two cents, and I'll leave it there. Le leave a comment, let me know, and I'll see you next video.